CD Baby versus TuneCore versus DistroKid versus 1RPM. Now this is a comparison video of these digital distributors and what we're going to look at in comparing them is price, the percentage of sales they take, whether they give you an ISRC code which is a code that's used within YouTube where when your album or song is in a video you know it puts a link at the bottom of that video with a thumbnail of your album and a link to iTunes or Amazon you know where people can click that link and buy it you need the ISRC code for that and a UPC barcode which is used to track sales and sound scan so we're gonna look at whether they give you that we're gonna look at how they pay you you know how they get you your money we're gonna look at their reputation you know how people feel about them you know how dissatisfied or satisfied people seem to be with the service and we're gonna look at what extras they give you for the price that they charge you now first thing we're gonna look at is price one rpm one rpm charges you forty dollars to distribute an album fifteen dollars to distribute a single and they also allow you to pay five dollars per store where if you only want to get your album into let's say itunes and amazon and you don't really care about all the other stores you know you can just spend ten dollars to distribute your, to, to distribute your album to those two stores specifically and they also have an option of distributing your music to the streaming platforms for free like they don't charge you to get your music into deezer audio uh rhapsody spotify uh google music None of those streaming platforms do they charge you to get your music into. You can get your music in there for free. CD Baby charges you $60 per album and $15 per single. TuneCore charges you $50 per album per year. It's an annual fee. So every year you got to pay them $50 for every album that you distribute through them. Uh, $10 per single same thing it's an annual fee every year you got to pay them $10 for the single that you distribute to them DistroKid charges $20 annually for unlimited releases which means you can release a hundred records under them in a year and it'll still only cost you $20 when you look at percentage of sales they take one RPM takes 15% of your royalties but they allow you to pay $30 as an annual fee and keep 100% of your royalties. CD Baby takes 9% of your royalties. TuneCore and DistroKid allows you to keep 100% of your royalties. They don't take anything from you. Now, when you look at whether they give you an ISRC code and a UPC code, 1RPM gives you the ISRC and the UPC free. CD Baby gives you the ISRC free, but they charge you $20 for the UPC code for an album and $5 for the UPC code for a single. And they make it mandatory that you have to have a UPC barcode for digital distribution through them. So it's a requirement. So that drives their prices up from the $60 that they say they charge actually to $80 when you include the UPC barcode so it's $80 for an album and $20 for a single now TuneCore and DistroKid both or really TuneCore gives you the ISRC code and the UPC code for free as well DistroKid gives you the UPC code for free but to get the ISRC code you have to upgrade to a musician plus plan which is $35 annually and not 20. So in order to get the ISRC code, you have to pay them $35 annually. Now, when you look at how they get you your money, everybody on this list distributes funds through PayPal, but only CD Baby and TuneCore allow you to receive your money through direct deposit, which is great because you know when you are receiving your money through PayPal, you have to wait for the digital distributor to send your money to PayPal, and then you have to wait to get your money from PayPal to your bank account, you know, which if you don't want to wait, you know, that's whack. Now, 1RPM allows you to take your money, whether there's a penny in there, $10, it doesn't matter. If you have money in your 1RPM account, you can take it out. There's no minimum balance that you have to reach in order to get your funds. CD Baby requires that you get or that you have at least $10 in your account to withdraw your funds. 
TuneCore allows you to withdraw your funds at any amount. And so does DistroKid. You can take it out whether there's a penny in there or whether there's $100. It doesn't matter. Only CD Baby has a, a minimum balance that you have to reach in order to get your funds. When you look at their reputation, 1 RPM, I give their reputation 100 because, you know, I deal with them, you know, and I don't see anybody really with anything really bad to say about them, you know, so I put them at 100. CD Baby, same thing. There's no real, no, nobody that really got anything bad to say about them, you know, and the people who do are in, in, a, in a very, very small minority. TuneCore, I put their reputation at 80% because there was, you know, a lot of complaints about them, not particularly about their service, but about, you know, their uh, YouTube program, you know, and them claiming videos, you know, as third party content and all that. There were some issues with that. DistroKid, I put their approval rating at 100% as well because there's no real complaints about them online that I see either. You know, nobody really complaining about their service, you know, so they're staying at 100% too. Now, when you look at the extras they give you, uh, one RPM provides you with marketing support where if you have a notable write-up or you've... Uh, a, or you've gotten a certain amount of sales, you know, they'll work with you to get priority placement in the digital music stores like iTunes and Amazon, you know, to get you a feature or whatever have you, right? They also have a multi-channel network, which is like a YouTube label that you can sign to and become a part of, you know, all the other, all these other digital distributors with the exception of DistroKid, you know, have a YouTube licensing program. And I have a video that explains the differences between a YouTube licensing and a multi-channel network, but to explain it quickly, you know, uh, uh, YouTube multi-channel network and uh, uh, YouTube licensing claims YouTube licensing claims your video as third-party content and in doing so you only get 30% of advertising revenue as opposed to the 55% you receive if you claim your video directly as being part of a YouTube multi-channel network yet yeah, yeah ad your channels and your videos get premium ads that pay more so not only do you get the 55 percent or at least 55 percent of advertising revenue but you get 55 percent of a higher number from the boosted ad rates that you'll get from being a premium channel under a multi-channel network now in addition to having a multi-channel network one rpm has a free video production studio that they allow artists that are in the multi-channel network program to come to and create high quality videos using 4d cameras and their staff you know that you can make you know high quality videos for your youtube channel you know so they're offering that as well they have a direct to fan you know option where you can sell your music directly to fans and not have to pay you know itunes 30 percent of your sales you know they have quality customer service you know and their customer service is really good. You know, I, I, deal, I deal with them. I have this uh, album distributed th through them. You know, I, you contact them and you say, hey, I want a digital di digital booklet included in my album. Or I want to change this or that. You know, and they're very accommodating with that. You know, CD Baby. CD Baby. Uh, they do physical distribution where if you're selling CDs and you're selling vinyl, they'll get your, uh, your CDs and vinyl and other did and other uh online music stores that sell cds and vinyl in exchange for that they'll take four percent i mean they'll take four dollars from every sale no matter how much you sell your album for so if you're selling a cd for five dollars you know that'll leave you with a dollar you know from every sale you know they also offer a direct to fan option and they also have quality customer service and they're another company that i have an album distributed through and they're also very accommodating if you contact them and you need anything changed to fix you know they'll help you with that now tunecore they don't really do much outside of digital distribution for the price that they charge you they have other things that they do but it's a separate charge and it's a separate thing you know but they have quality customer service too at least from when i used to deal with them you know from before you know i, I i've contacted them at, at, at points you know to change certain stuff and they've been accommodating as well distro kid you know their customer service is completely automated you know it's through computers you're not really dealing with real people you know so they're very limited and what they can do and what they can help you with you know 
pretty much anything that you want to change or fix within your album is going to require you to take the album out of the stores and re-upload it you know which is very inconvenient now when you look at the pricing models like uh how distrokid allows you to pay twenty dollars for unlimited releases you know and tunecore charges you fifty dollars per album per year you know and you have uh digital distributors like TuneCore, I mean like CD Baby and 1RPM, you know, that charges you an upfront fee, you know, and you're trying to like gauge which one is best for you, you know, it really comes to, it comes down to a matter of how much money you make annually, right? TuneCore, if you release three albums in one year through TuneCore, it will cost you $150 that year and every year after that. You will have to pay $150 for releasing three albums through TuneCore. Distro Kid, it would only cost you $35 to release three albums per year. One RPM, you could do something like release those three albums to the streaming platforms and sell it directly and not pay anything but the 15% that they take from your sales. CD Baby would charge you $60 per album, you know, so three albums through CD Baby will cost you $180, you know, up front, you know, with the end plus, you know, you would have 9% of the sales that they would take. Now, when you look at it and you say, okay, well, what does the 9% represent? It all depends on, you know, how much you make. Like, let's say you make $1,000 per year, you know, from your album. That would mean you're paying CD Baby $90 a year. And that would mean you're paying 1RPM $150 a year in comparison to paying DistroKid $35 or paying um, TuneCore $150. Now you look at it and you say, okay, well, TuneCore, within those pricing tiers, you know, if you're making under a certain amount, you know, it's not very advantageous to you. Neither is DistroKid if you're making under a certain amount. But if you're making $1,000 or more than $1,000, where that, that 9% of that 15% that CD Baby or, or, or 1RPM may take from you would represent more than what you would pay TuneCore or more than what you would pay DistroKid, then DistroKid and TuneCore would look like a better option. So what it all comes down to is how much, you know, you're making where... Or, and how much that percentage of sales represents, you know, you losing. Now, with DistroKid and TuneCore, you know, DistroKid seems like the better option because it's cheaper, but you have to consider customer service, you know, and whether you're going to be able to get assistance with certain things that you need done with your albums, you know, if you need to change something, if something goes wrong that you need fixed, you know, I know with, uh, TuneCore, they have a customer service team that you can contact, people that you can deal with, you know, that are real people, you know, that can assist you. And with DistroKid, it's completely automated, you know, so any issues with your album, you know, if you if you made a mistake with, your, with the album information or the album cover or anything like that, you got to pull it out of the stores and be uploaded, which they don't consider an issue because of the fact that it's free, but... It's an issue for you because in taking your album down, you know, you're going to lose your comments, you're going to lose your star ratings, you're going to lose all of those things, you know. And even with dealing with TuneCore and DistroKid in general, both of them services, if you can't pay TuneCore that $50 a year and you can't pay uh, DistroKid that $35 a year, you know, your music comes out of the retail stores. So you lose your comments, you lose your star ratings, you lose all of those things. People that link to the album, you know, when people click on those links, they take them to a 404 era. So it's like it's a, a lot that you lose and getting your albums removed. And I've distributed an album through TuneCore that I couldn't afford to pay at one point. And had it had it taken out of the stores you know and had it come down you know and it's not a good feeling and it's just not good with everybody that linked to it in the comments and all of that stuff that you lose because of that you know so because of that fact i think that you know cd baby and one rpm and people that are digital distributors that charge you a one-time fee are better because it's just peace of mind you know once you pay the fee it's done and you don't have to worry about it anymore after that you know and they're better in particular if 
you know, you're not guaranteed to make money. You know what I'm saying? If you're guaranteed to make money, if you're an established artist and you know, you know, you're going to make money, then yeah, you might consider TuneCore, you might consider DistroKid. But if you're not, you know, then CD Baby and 1RPM is better for you, you know? Now, this right here has been a comparison video of these services. You know, I'd like to know what you guys think. You know, you can be sure, you know, comment below this video you know make sure you like it make sure you share it with other artists that find the information useful you know you can follow us on twitter at pay us no mind you know make sure you subscribe to this channel to get more videos this is gift signing off pay us no mind